Hey guys, welcome. It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So today's video is actually, we are officially at the halfway point. Congratulations, Brianna Riddle is currently in first place for the 60 Day Challenge. Now today's video is actually going to be as informational as possible, but also as quick and concise as possible. It's, it is going to be what oils should I be using, what oils are best for cooking, and it will. Pro I promise it will be an under five minute video. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about the bad oils. I'm not going to go into polyunsaturated, monounsaturated, saturated fats and stuff like that. There's no reason to try to confuse anybody and myself, okay? They, they, it, it really doesn't matter. If you want to go into the chemical makeup of stuff, that's perfectly fine. But I'm just here to tell you what's best, what's quickest, and what is most effective for you to use. First of all, the bad. The bad oils that I don't want you to use are going to be canola oil, corn oil, uh, safflower, uh, sunflower oil. Um, what are some other ones? Um, I got them written down here. Soybean oil, corn oil, uh, lots of things like that. You really want to stay away from them. First of all, they can be really high in omega-6. Omega-6 causes massive amounts of uh, inflammation and when you use these oils in really high quantities and put them at high heat or consume them every day, it can cause heart disease, it can cause contribute to obesity, it can clog your arteries, it can cause, it is one of the most prevalent uh, pr uh, causes of acid reflux. It can also increase your chances of hypertension, high blood pressure, and uh, your chances of stroke, and obviously these oils are highly processed. Anything that's highly processed and that use Genetic, genetically modified crops and as far as GMOs and I've been talking about those for a long time I talked a long time ago if you look way way back in my uh, videos it's probably 700 videos ago I talked about genetically modified crops and stuff like that but it's important that you don't use any of these oils and I will warn you and caution you if you get salads at a restaurant or something like that, 99.9% .9 of the time, they're not using your favorite olive oils or your favorite extra virgins or anything like that. They're going to be using these canola, corn, vegetable oils because they're cheap, they're easily manufactured, and they are cost efficient for large corporations. Okay, now this is going to be a pretty quick part of the video. Now I'm going to give you three, count them, three oils that I recommend, basically nothing else. So the first one is going to be coconut oil. It has a pretty low temperature. It's good for lots of things, but first of all, obviously, you don't want to go super high heat with anything like this because once you go high heat, it hits its smoke point and then it kind of just dissolves and it becomes very rancid and doesn't taste good and it breaks down any positive stuff in this turns into either worthless or negative. Now it's not probably going to hurt you necessarily. Some people say that it gets you know some kind of bad chemical taste and stuff like that and it could cause you harm. Honestly I think it's probably going to be okay but I just wouldn't use this for a high heat. This one's rated for medium up to 365 degrees. I would say like cooking eggs would be fine but I wouldn't go much higher than that. Also, this can be used for your skin. Yes, I know, it can also be used for your hair. Straight out of this, this is the organic spectrum and I'll put a link in the description below for all the oils I use, just in case you can't find them near you. Uh, a lot of these can be only found at like health food stores and if you're in a small town or something like that, Amazon might be your best choice. So check out the links in the description below. This is a refined, but it also is used to USDA or organic but you can use it on your skin or apply it to your hair or things like that. So it can be really good. It not only is it one of the least likely to be stored as fat in your body, but it is also antimicrobial, which means any kind of microbes or bad bacteria that are in your body, this can really help eliminate those. No, it's not gonna get rid of everything but it will aid in the process. Also, it's a really good boost of energy and this particular fat can or this particular oil can be used in your body to burn as energy okay next and I, I guess I got a fourth one but I'm gonna be really quick I'm trying to be really fast because I want you guys to continue on with the day and have a great day first of all extra virgin olive oil super low smoke point 
should not be used other than like drizzling or a dressing. Olive oil, just regular olive oil can use, be used at like a medium heat. Other than that, I wouldn't go much further than that. Be careful, when you open this and anything that's named labeled blend, stay away from it. Spend the extra couple bucks, you're gonna get what you pay for. Trust me, it's worth it. Another side note, and I know I'm awkwardly going out of the way. Uh, another side note is butter. You can use certain butters. I would not, this is the butter I use. Obviously, I didn't want to show you the one I have in there because it looks horrible, so I printed it out. And I realized I could have just flashed a picture on, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I use the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. It's grass-fed butter, and a little tip, use this to make eggs, and not only are you going to love the aroma, you will absolutely love the flavor. Okay, and last but not least is going to be avocado oil. Hopefully you can see that. I'll come a little closer, hopefully you can see that. Avocado oil, which I'll put in the description below, is a really good one, and also, of course, the most important and the most beautiful thing about it is it is the high smoke point. This is the, the one that you use to sear. This is the one that you use to pan fry. It has a smoke point of 520 degrees, meaning you can go up to 520 degrees. High heat is no problem for this one, um, and you will not break it down from its original state. It will definitely hold up. Although it can be one of the more expensive oils, I will promise you, you get what you pay for. If you're paying two bucks for a gallon of canola oil or corn oil, think about it, think about it. If that's literally almost the price of water, how positive could that be? How good for the, your body could that highly processed oil be? Keep those things in mind. You guys, I would like to know your tips below and please add to my descriptions. I only, I know I did not cover hemp seed oil, grape seed oil. I didn't cover uh, almond oil or any of those. I just covered the most common ones in the industry. The goods are gonna be avocado oil, uh, grass-fed butter, avocado oil, I think I just said that, extra virgin olive oil, olive oil, and coconut oil. Aside from that, I wouldn't go anywhere else. You have all of your temperature ranges covered and the bad ones would be like safflower, sunflower, canola, corn, vegetable oil, all of those, just stay away from them. Feed your body positive, beautiful things and you will actually create a positive, beautiful body. You guys, it's not all about how you look on the outside, sometimes it's about what's inside. Actually, most of the time it's about what's inside. Have a beautiful day, guys. If you're new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And also, if you're new here, please check out our Facebook group. It's called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. Have a beautiful day. Hashtag be stronger than your excuses. And remember to spread love, not hate. Peace.